During much of his adult life, Lindsay Crosby reportedly struggled with mental health issues such as manic depression, also known as bipolar disorder. To treat his bipolar disorder, he had been therapeutically taking lithium and was seeing a psychiatrist and clinical psychologist. Crosby also struggled with alcoholism, job stability, and living in the shadow of his famous father, Bing Crosby. Lindsay Crosby had a reported nervous breakdown in 1962 and had accumulated multiple drunk driving and battery offenses during his life. In 1977, Crosby was arrested on charges of indecent exposure after running around a motel pool in Durango, Colorado, naked. Before his death, Crosby was attempting to treat his alcohol addiction. Lindsay Crosby, along with his three other brothers, Dennis, Philip, and Gary, had financially benefited from money from their mother Dixie Lee's will. The money was generated from crude oil investments made by Lee. Eleven days before Lindsay Crosby's death, Lindsay and his brothers were informed that the oil money had been fully exhausted. This news reportedly impacted Crosby heavily. On the night of December 10, 1989, Crosby had left his home that he shared with his ex-wife Susan Marlin to travel to his condominium in Calabasas, California. According to Susan, Crosby had discovered his car keys after she had hidden them from him. The following morning, at around 9 a.m. on December 11, Crosby had called Susan and talked to one of his sons named Chip. During the phone call, he alleged that he would be returning back to them soon and that he would meet with his psychologist again. Susan stated that he, sounded better, during the phone call that morning. Later that same afternoon, Lindsay Crosby was discovered dead in his condominium. The 51-year-old Crosby was discovered with a single gunshot wound to his head, made by a small caliber rifle. On a table near his body was an assortment of bills and other expenses. The gunshot wound was quickly ruled to be self-inflicted. The reason for Crosby's suicide was, according to Gary Crosby's spokeswoman, Marilyn Reese, and a family spokesperson, to be due to despondency from the recent financial news he was dealt. In Reese's words, the news of the cessation of inheritance money was the last straw for Lindsay. Gary Crosby stated that Lindsay was too sensitive with how he handled the situation. A more extensive statement of Gary's reaction to his brother's suicide was released by Reese, in which he states, I knew he was upset but we were all upset and we're all upset together. I never would have figured in a million years that Lindsay would have been the guy to do this. At Lindsay Crosby's funeral, Gary stated, When my mother died, I saw the light go out of his eyes. As far as I'm concerned, he's been trying to get back to her ever since. Lindsay Crosby's remains are interred in Section F of Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California. Crosby's brother Dennis, who shared a close significant relationship with Lindsay and also suffered from depression and alcoholism, later died in similar circumstances from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to his head in May 1991.